We're recording this from home today because it's been raining cats and dogs at the river. So in this video, we're gonna cover a few different access points to the river. And if you like this video and you find it helpful, be sure to go back to our first video and check out our How to Hunt the Ladonia Fossil Park gear guide. It covers a lot of different things on what you need to bring and probably don't need to bring. And that's part one in our series Part one in our series of what? You can talk normal, we can cut all this. That's part one in our How to Hunt the Ladonia Fossil Park series. So be sure to check that out. There's numerous different points that you can get into the river. We're not gonna cover all of them. We're just gonna basically cover the main ones that we like to visit. There are other options besides the stairs of death. Yeah, you don't have to go there. Right. We're gonna show you safer ways to get into the river so that you don't hurt yourself because we feel like a lot of this information has been pretty guarded and no one really wants to say, but I feel like safety is key. The first access point we're gonna cover is the TX-34 bridge, also known as the Ladonia yeah, Fossil, Fossil Park. Park. There is a very treacherous set of stairs. Yes. People like to refer to it as the stairs of death. That is not the only option here. One upside to the Ladonia Fossil Park location is it does offer parking. No other location right now currently offers parking. Across the street from the parking lot is a easier way to get down into the fossil park. It is a Jeep trail. Um, you do kind of go through windy little course, but it walks down into the river at a much easier slope. And that would be recommended for people that really don't want to try the stairs of death. Pretty soon, as of the day of this recording, the current Ladonia Fossil Park on TX-34 is going to be closing at some point between mid to late June they're gonna start construction on a new temporary fossil park. That's gonna be at FM 2990. Some of you might already know FM 2990. That bridge currently has a chain that you have to rappel down. Barbara's done it before. Yeah, it's not fun. I'll Actually, here is a picture of her rappelling down the side of that cliff, holding on for dear life to a chain to get to the river. So in the meantime, here's some other access points that you can get in and enjoy the river. This bridge at 904 has roadside parking. The roadside parking situation at the 904 can be a little sketchy if you uh, don't mind your car leaning a little to the side. But other than that, it's fine. There's not that many cars that drive by and, and when they do, they're few and far between. Also, the good thing about FM 904 is it has a Jeep trail as well. And you can walk easily down into the river. and this one was one of my favorites, is the crossing of the North Sulphur River where the Northeast Texas Trail, also known as the NET, N-E-T-T, -T, goes over the river. The Northeast Texas Trail used to be a railroad track. Because it's a bridge that has fallen apart, it is full of large blocks of concrete. I'm gonna show a clip here of Barbara trying to get up when we got down the last time. You can see in the video that it is a little sketchy. Uh, it's really sketchy, I'm yeah. not gonna lie. It's only for advanced hunters. This is probably the most difficult access point that I have been to. Correct. So if you have mobility issues, I would not recommend going no. because it is very, very, very <laughs> high. It is, uh, you will climb down boulders the whole way and there's no easy way that we found to get in the river there. The walk itself to get there from the nearest road that you can park at was a little bit of a trek. Over a mile. So it's a hike. It's a hike. It's not like you're just parking right next to the river, climbing down a hill and getting in. Yeah. 
The last alternate bridge access point is 2675. Keep in mind, it's not really the last access point, but the last one we're covering. The parking situation here is better than 904 because there's a little area that you can pull off and park. So you're not actually directly on the side of the road. There is a, a walk down a hill, like a little small, like dirt hill walk down, but it's better, way better than the stairs of death. Another really great resource for information about not only the fossils from the North Sulphur River, but different access points can be found in this book. It's called the Fossil Collector's Guidebook to the North Sulphur River. And if you haven't picked up this book, you definitely should. For example, on page 179 of this book, a diagram that shows multiple different entries to the river. Not just the ones we're going over, they are included on here, but for the more experienced hunters, there's several different ways that you can get into the river, not just the park stairs. And that's about it for our bridge access points guide and we hope that you enjoyed this episode yes. be sure to like this video leave a comment subscribe to our channel and make sure that you check out our video one in the series how to hunt the ladonia fossil park gear guide lots of good information in that first episode and we really hope that the second episode helped you and if you like it stay tuned we're going to be putting out a few more of these oh by the way we're getting married in three weeks Ooh. So maybe the next time you see us in episode number three, he'll be my husband. Stay tuned for the next video in the series. Say bye. 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 Are you pooping or farting? No. <laughs> okay, my cards. Um, go ahead and talk about the last video real quick. Okay. Do that. That's part one of our series of what? You can talk normal. We can cut all this. Uh, okay. For example, there is a, a... Yeah, you go ahead. Say it. And the different fall... Can't be go to, hun. Yeah, I guess. Okay, let's keep it like that. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to talk about the park, and then you're going to go in... Ready? And we're not going to cover what you're going to find on those gravel bars. I don't that's, want to talk about that. That was how to fun. How to fun. <laughs> how to fun. We're going to show you how to fun.